Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with the IFV. Now if you guys don't know what this is for whatever reason, essentially this is an infantry fighting vehicle. It is currently armed with a heavy auto cannon on the top, it has missiles as well just in case we needed them. It has flares, which are actually a chaff in this instant. instinct, instance, um, and it actually has a tow uh, area. So, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to try and add a towed either trailer or anti-tank gun. Something like that. So, let's just go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Alright, so in order to actually get this correct for ourselves, uh, what I'm going to do is build out a few blocks this way, grab one of those, and smack that on there, delete these guys, and we'll design it sort of like that. Now, with that being said, uh, if it is an anti-tank gun, I only want this on one of the sides, or one of the legs, I should say. Uh, and the legs are actually going to come off the sides of this. But that's not really why I'm building it like this for now. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to have to build out to wherever the gun may be. And it needs wheels! It does. It actually needs to sit on some wheels. So let's go ahead and try and find some that fit. Probably 5 by 5s And uh, I honestly think that'll be good. Actually, maybe even... Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe 7x7s. Seven sevens, although they might be a little bit too large. So, 5x5s, five it is. Okay, there we go. Um, it's not going to quite work like this, but kind of. Then we're going to go to the other side. Doosh, doosh, and we're going to go ahead and whack one of those on there as well. And the other legs are going to come out of here. Okay, so that's going to come pretty much all the way back to there. Spawn it in, let's see what that actually looks like. Boop. There we go, so if we were towing, that would be fine. Gun would be on the back of there, and we would be able to move it along. Excellent. Alright, okay, so this thing is going to be uh, actually very, uh, extremely simple uh, in the grand scheme of things. So we're going to go ahead and cut this off. Uh, we're going to start a new one. There we go. And this is going to be our start point. Just one of these. Boop, there we go. Delete this. Uh, this is probably a good length away, so we're going to go ahead and delete these guys. And we're going to have to reposition something. So pivot is actually something we need, okay? Delete that as well, go ahead and put this here, put this here, and some pivots are going to go right here like this. Oh, uh, actually, wait, 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 wait. Mirror? Yeah, I guess mirror, there we go. So, essentially, what we're going to do from there is this guy's going to come out to here. We're going to go ahead and delete this, and we're going to do that. We're then going to go ahead and grab one of these, delete that, and it's only going to go on one of the wheels, or one of the sides. That should be fine, I think. Alright, so since that's the case, let's go ahead and actually uh, put a button on there. It's going to be a push button, and we're just going to go ahead and shove it there like so. And we're also going to go ahead and put this guy in here like this. There you go. So when we go ahead and press the button, uh, it will open... Actually, no, that's just a disconnect for this. There you go, so attach that to there. Um, when we push a button somewhere up here... Uh, button, 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 button. Toggle button, go ahead and put that there. We need a switch box. Uh, just below it, real quick. Here we go. Push. There we go. And we just need to connect this to there. There we go. And this to here and also to there. And then we need to figure out how wide we actually want it to be. So when it's on, it's going to be 0 0.6. Maybe 0 0.6. There you go. So let's go ahead and spawn this in. Make it infinite electricity for right now. And see what happens. Also, I want to turn it around. That makes sense. Bosh. Oh. Yeah, that's not quite right, actually. <laughs> That's not quite right. Okay, is that because they're going into each other? Maybe it's minus 0.6. Alright, here we go. Minus 0.6. Go ahead and have this automatically on. Go. Yes, that seems way too far apart, actually. So go with 0.4. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, spawn it in. Let's see what that does. There we go. That seems about right, actually. And the gun will then be in the middle of this. And that should be fine. Excellent. Alright, so now it's our time to design the rest of it to hopefully make it look nice. So, those guys are going to go on there like that, so we have a little bit more room to play with. Uh, we're going to need some batteries, uh, literally just to run some certain things. Uh, what is this? What actually is that? That's nothing. So, we're going to have one battery there, and that is all. Okay, excellent. This battery is going to connect to everything. There we go, and this and that. There we go. So, it can actually charge itself off the APC itself. Very nice. Okay. We're then going to go ahead and... Well, actually, I don't know how I want this to work. But I think we're going to block all that off like so. I'm then going to go ahead and put these guys right here. Okie dokie. And then if I can, I would love to push those over the side. But actually, if we do something like... 
this. There you go. Um, then we might be able to get away with doing this, but I'm not sure. So if we do that, okie dokie, bring that out and over the edge. And then maybe, just maybe, we can position one of these on the edge of this. And that'll look okay. Yeah, so spawn that in. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, okay. So, essentially, this only needs to be able to aim up and down. And you aim it via this. <laughs> it seems like a crazy method of aiming. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. Or should we build it slightly differently? I, I feel like we should have a little bit of traverse on the gun. So, that's probably what we're going to do. Anyway, let's go ahead and build these guys into here like this. I'm going to need one of those in order to actually aim the gun up and down. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a gun. Actually, it's probably just a cannon. And I'm not entirely sure which one to use. Artillery seems to make some sort of sense, but it's way too big. The battle cannon is probably more like what we're going to use. So this, this is what we would use. Just like that, essentially. Um, but it's going to have to go further backwards. So do this. There we go. Grab one of those guys and put it right there like so. There we go. That's pretty nice. Delete those guys for right now. Get ourselves a battle cannon. Whack it directly on here. If I can, which is not something that I can do, unfortunately. But if I do this, we should be able to get away with it. Maybe. Oh no, because it fires, like it launches itself backwards, if that makes sense. So this is actually going to have to go uh, up, up there. Yeah, that's pretty strange, actually, but I guess it works. Yeah, okay. So if we spawn this in, it's currently on a different segment, but yeah. That, I mean, I guess that works. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But obviously, it would be longer, so we would extend the barrel a little bit. Where are the barrel extensions? What? Oh, that's not that's not right. I want, like, a the, the same size barrel extension. Um, battle cannon, yeah. All right, that is, oh, is it this one? One, two, there we go. And then we'll do one of these on the end. There you go. Oh, actually, and then maybe even one of these. That looks crazy. <laughs> that looks pretty crazy. But if we replace that one with this one, we then go ahead and we grab that one, delete this one and put it there. That could look cool, I guess. Actually, no, even delete this. Grab that one, delete that, put it there. Okay, I think that's how we're going to have it. So, if I can, uh, what do we need to do? We need to actually attach this to something. Because uh, at the minute, it's not actually going to be able to move. And that's obviously not good. But anyway, cut it and paste it. Actually, no, don't don't paste it. Um, oh, maybe do. Alright, there we go. Paste it back in. Sorry, merge this with this. Alright, good. So, we need it to be able to move. To be able to pivot. And how do we do that? I don't know. Okay, if it can, attach it to there. Oh, it can. Excellent. Yes. Okay, put those guys there like that. And, I mean, I wish I could have made it closer. But never mind. All right, let's do... Hmm, let's do that right there. Let's fill these guys in in the middle. And do this right here as well. Bosh. There we go. So that's like our anti-tank gun. I don't know how I feel about it, but it is a thing. Okay, I can also, if I wanted to, attach this to here. And leave it like that. Bit, again, a bit weird, but at the same time, I, I think it might work. Maybe. Alright, flip it over. There. Okay, I mean, that might work. If we leave it like that, spawn it in, let's see what it does. It's a bit heavy, but that's okay. Yeah. Alright, so. In order to actually make it better for ourselves, one, two, three, four. We're going to go ahead and add some weight blocks in here. And that should be good for us. Bam. There we go. Is that going to be heavy enough? No. Four weight blocks on either side is not heavy enough. That's crazy. So that should be actually pretty heavy. All right. Let's add a few more. <laughs> let's add two more back here. One and two. Actually, wait. Da -da -da. One and two. Excellent. And then maybe even some more. One, two. And then this. Okay. Spawn it in. Let's see what that does. Yeah. Much better. Okay. So now we have the ability to aim it up and down, and um, we don't actually have the ability to turn it, but I think that's okay. I think that's alright, we can turn it ourselves. Alright, so put that there. Put that there. And it can aim up and down, so we'll leave it as is, sort of. Alright, cool. Delete this guy, get ourselves a throttle lever. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Delete that guy as well, put it inside of there. And then we should be able to attach this to the battery. 
Attach this to the... This? Yeah, okay, good. Give that electricity too. And that should allow us to aim up and down. We then need some buttons. We then need some actual buttons. One and two. Uh, one of them is to open breach. And then the other one is to fire, I guess? Fire. Okay, so attach these guys to the electricity also. This one is open breach. And this one is fire. Okay, right. That's everything we need. We also need some actual ammo. Um, battle cannon. Ammunition. Okay, right. So the belts. I'm not entirely sure if I want to store ammo on it or not. I'm thinking maybe, but I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit strange. Uh, but there you go. One, two, three, and four. Four rounds. Five and six. If we need to tow a trailer as well in order to actually carry rounds, I think that's also okay. But anyway, let's go ahead and give these guys something. Let's give them something. So, high explosive. High expl I mean, armor piercing is probably what we want. There we go. In fact, yeah. Armor piercing in all of them. There we go. I'm a piercing, yes. There we go, and one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, there you go. Okay, so now if I spawn this in, we can open the breach, load around, da 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 da, close the breach, and fire! There we go, nice. Okay, it looks like it would fit on the back of our thingy, Bobby, so I'm okay with it. Alright, so I've grabbed it. Now we can actually put it on the back of our IFV. I've got the longer one here, but I actually want to use the shorter one for this. So there you go, IFV missiles. Let's go ahead and uh, drag this backwards. Maybe we should actually have a leg for it. I'm not sure. Uh, but if we put this right here, paste. There we go, we can spawn it in. It's attached itself on. The gun is ready to go. Can we actually aim it up and down? Indeed we can. And that is awesome. We can only aim it up. We can't aim it downwards. But... I mean, I guess that's okay, but at the same time, it's not, is it? So, our min value is going to be minus 0 0.2. There we go. We're going to allow it to actually aim downwards just a tiny touch, uh, which is okay, I think. So, put that there and fill in these bits. There we go. And I think if I... I might have to delete these guys. Might legit have to delete that and the other one. I don't know. Anyway... Let's go ahead and spawn this in now and see if this works. So, aim it down. Yeah, it works. And aim it up. Yeah, that also works. Okay, very good. Very good indeedy. Okay, so let's go ahead and tow it out to a location wherever we want it. And then we'll see if we can use it. I guess we can use it on the IFV itself. I suppose. All right, let's drive it out there. Da -da -da -do 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 -do. Okay, this is kind of cool. I mean, it looks very small. It does look very tiny. But I guess that's okay. It could be a tiny anti-tank gun. <laughs> sure. All right, so let's say we've got it right here. All right, we'll disconnect it and we'll drive off. The door gets in the way a little bit. Okay, there we go. And now we'll drive away. da 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 all right, drive, drive, drive. Yes. Okie dokie. Not very far away. That's fine. Whack it here. And turn it off. Turn it off, please. Thank you. Good. Jump outside. Close the door. Yes. Where's our little gun? Here it is. Yeah, it did need to aim down, didn't it? It needed the ability to. And then if we want to open its leg bits, there we go. We can turn it around to wherever the target is, which is right here in front of us. Aim it down. A little bit higher, probably. Tiny bit lower, tiny bit higher. I wish it was less sensitive, but that's okay. It looks like we're aiming directly towards the target. Open the breach, grab around, whack it in, close it. And three, two, one, fire! I think I missed. I need it to be less sensitive, because it's very, very sensitive at the minute. But that's all right. Okay, right. Open breach. Put that in, close breach. Three, two, one, fire! There we go, we hit the target. We did hit the target, nice. Okay, that's excellent. It actually works. Fantastic. Um, anyway, I think I'm actually gonna leave this here for now. This was just a bit of an afterthought kind of thing, the, uh, the whole anti-tank gun, but I mean, it, I suppose it works. 
Let's go ahead and fire another round because I think it's a, I think it's a fun idea. Smack that in there. Go ahead and fire it. There we go. Open the breach. Do it again. Close the breach. Nice. Um, yeah, it's actually quite a fun thing to have. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.